welcome back. He is a three-time Tony Award winner, you know, from Angels in America, The Producers, and The Birdcage. He now stars in the new Showtime series, Penny Dreadful, City of Angels. Please welcome to A Late Show, Nathan Lane. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. You, uh, yeah. I, I, like, uh, I like your backdrop there. You got the books. Oh, you yeah. seem very smart. We're, we're going for a prison library. Um, oh, good. I'm actually doing just what I see everybody else doing, which is they're filming themselves now in front of bookcases. Sure. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So I got the, one right here. Yeah. You know, a, a sad attempt at seeming like an intellectual. You know, I wouldn't be caught dead watching Tiger King. I just finished Moby Dick. Call me Ishmael. Where are you right now? Is this, is, this, is this your normal, are you in your apartment? Where are we catching? No, we're in, I'm in a re reconfigured Y2K bunker in, in, out in the Hamptons where men are men and toilet paper is an endangered species. I'll be here all year. Um, Maybe. Oh, Maybe. I, yeah. Get comfy. Maybe. It's Get a, comfy. No, this is a guest room slash panic room, although every okay. room is a panic room now. But um, yes, I could show you around. Because Please. I'll, I'd love, we'd love it. a tour. There's nothing other than a mask and rubber gloves that's more comforting than show business memorabilia. And I Please. have, I have some show business memorabilia I could Ooh, uh, I love. take you. Be, now, yes. don't get, you'll get nervous. I'm carrying no. you over okay. and uh, to this side of the I, room. And I don't know if you can see this, but can you see that? Uh, yeah, that's Walter Matthau. That's Walter, it's a signed picture of Walter Matthau in uh, the Odd Couple film with Carol Shelley and Monica Evans. And um, here, there's a story, thereby hangs a tail because- God, um, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> because right, we got some time to fill here, Nathan. It's a talk show. Um, it, late in his life, I, I met and socialized a little with Walter Matthau in Los Angeles. I was doing a, uh, an ill-fated sitcom with Joan Plowright. Lady Olivier, yes. and she had done the film Dennis the Menace with Walter. Yes. And one day she said to me, Nathan, would you like to have dinner with Walter and Carol Mathau? And I was like, Walter Mathau, I I'd be thrilled. He's a hero of mine. And so, uh, and his wife, Carol, was a fascinating creature. She was married to William Saroyan before Walter. She wow. wrote a, a book of her own. She was once the-, the time uh, of our lives? Is that was it? The, the, the time, of time of your life? Yeah, time the time of your life. Yeah. And, uh, and also she was kind of the inspiration for Holly Golightly. She, she was a great friend of Truman Capote's. Oh yeah, I heard that, I heard that, yeah. So we go to the, what was still in existence at the time, Orso's in LA, and there's an outdoor section, and there was Walter Matthau. And uh, I, was, I was so nervous. And uh, I went in and I said, oh, how do you do, Mr. Matthau? It's, a, it's an honor to meet you. And I said, how are you? And he said, I just had most of my colon removed. <laughs> and uh, so I thought, okay, I'm definitely not gonna have the liver tonight. I said, well, nevertheless, <laughs> you, you look very good. He said, that's because it's dark out here. Let's sit down and we can talk some more about me. So he was adorable <laughs> and we sat, we talked, he, you know, we, we, uh, he knew that I had played Nathan Detroit in a 1992 production of Guys and Dolls and he had played Nathan Detroit at City Center. And he said, that's where Neil Simon had first seen him. And he oh, said- you're kidding, I didn't know that. Yeah. And he said, if it wasn't for Neil Simon, I'd be an obscure character actor in regional theater right now. I said, I don't think so. Anyway, they were very charming, but they were famous for their bickering. And at one point, Carol, apropos of nothing said, well, if it wasn't for Walter's gambling, we wouldn't have to worry about money. And then Walter leaned in and smiled and said, why don't you go yourself? <laughs> we can say that on CBS, right? Sure we can. Sure, it'd be fine. What else you got? Um, and this is my most prized possession. This was given to me by a very uh, dear friend of mine, Doug McGrath, a brilliant writer and director. Sure. And this is when, when I was doing the Iceman Cometh, I did it in Chicago first, and then we did it at the Brooklyn Academy of Music. And he sent this to me as an opening night present. I don't, I'm not quite sure how he got this, whether it was a swap meet or a, <laughs> it's a weird what thing. What is it? What okay. is it? It's a pair of Eugene O'Neill's monogrammed boxer shorts and it's framed. Can you see it? Yes. Can you see the, his yes. initials? 
U G O N. O'Neill. Yes. And I also have Henrik Ibsen's thong. <laughs> wait, I'm, wait, have I lost you? Where did you go? I can't wait. see you. You, look, right. I can see you. We can okay. see you. I promise. All right. Okay. You know wait, what? Wait, don't, before I, you go anywhere, before yes. you go anywhere, yes. Uh, you got to tell me about Penny Dreadfuls. You got to tell me about the new show on Showtime. All right. Okay. <laughs> Penny Dreadful City of Angels. Tell me about yes. it. Yes. But wait a second. Uh, How do you know that really is Eugene O'Neill's underwear? Anybody could embroider anything on anything. Well, uh, uh, you be sure to look for me on. Be sure to check me out on Too Hot for Antiques Roadshow. Um, it's no, uh, I I do believe these are really his underwear. I, you know, sometimes you just have to have faith, Stephen. Okay. And and they, I I don't know. I, These days I, we all need something to believe in. Yes. And Eugene O'Neill's underwear is something to hold on to. Yes. I can't see you anymore <laughs> because. This I'm thing, speaking to you from beyond the grave. And because I'm technologically challenged, but um, a Penny Dreadful City of Angels, uh, uh, written by the brilliant John Logan. He sent me an email and said, "I wrote this." Part for you, and I hope you'll do it. It's uh, uh, this uh, great character. Uh, his name is Louis Michner. He's a, a hard-boiled Jewish detective on the LAPD, old and grizzled and world-weary. And it's certainly the it's the the best and most emotionally complex character I've ever gotten to play in film or television. And it's I, I quite honestly. I, 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 you know, I've been around a long time uh -huh. and um, I, I saw the first six episodes of this and I have to say, and I'm not, you know, what you would call an upbeat kind of guy, but this is really good. It's, it has a fantastic cast and it's gorgeously shot and it's, I, I, you, I think you would be intrigued by this. I'm it's, already intrigued. It's, um, it's really interesting. It's sort of Raymond Chandler meets Rod Serling. Look, it's got it's got everything. It's it's got a sort of Chinatown murder mystery in the center of it, and there's a, some supernatural things going on with the, the brilliant Natalie Dormer, um, mm. and uh, she plays the the sister of Santa Muerte, Magda. You know, remember the mother of the Gabor sister? <laughs> sure. Well, <laughs> anyway, it's, Nathan. It's, it's beautifully done and brilliantly written, and I just feel lucky and grateful to be a part of it. Uh, well, we are somehow, we are some, lucky and grateful. We are lucky and grateful. No, that don't you go. Us tonight. Don't we go. To, we don't leave to. me alone here. I'm I sorry. can't take it anymore. It's just you and Samuel Beckett's fishnets. No, I'm here. <laughs> I gotta. We do gotta go. We can't wait to see you live on stage again, Nathan. You're, you're very kind. It's going to be so. It's going to be so lovely. We can all be together in a live theater, isn't it? Uh, I I hope so. I no. I hope we all come out of this for the better. And and yes. And oh. well, stay safe and healthy. And my you best too. to you and your family. Thank you, Nathan. All right. Penny Dreadful City of Angels premieres this Sunday on Showtime. Doctor Nathan Lane, everybody. We'll be right back.